Let's right click on our main assembly and select Unisolate All. Zooming out and move our component, selecting our handle, turning on the visibility of plunger and link. Let's move the plunger. Same with our link. Our goal in this assembly is to create this motion. Heading back to our components. In the event that you need to add or change something, all you have to do is reactivate the component. So in this instance, I need to add the hole on our plunger. So we're heading back to our plunger, activating this. Let's twerk our origin folders. Heading to our XY plane, right click and select create sketch. And if this menu appears, simply select Capture Position. Taking note that we are sketching at the middle, so we can also slice this one. Hitting C for Circle, placing our circle here, diameter to be 4, hitting Enter. And our intent is to align this horizontally with our origin. So selecting Horizontal Vertical. Selecting our origin and the center point of our circle. Next, hitting D for dimension. Let's select the center point and this edge. Left click here, keying in 10. Hitting stop sketch. Hitting E for extrude. Selecting this profile. Selecting two sides. So for the extent of both sides, selecting all. All, Operation Cut, and for the objects, making sure that the object to cut is plunger only. Hitting OK. Going back to Home View. Let's insert our plunger into our base. Hitting J for Joint. In this instance, our desired motion type is cylindrical. So let's change the motion type to cylindrical. Hovering over our plunger, let's select this joint origin. Let's hover over this face, hold control, and select this joint origin. Finally, hitting OK. Next, let's assemble our handle to this feature. In this instance, we will be Requiring a revolute joint, so hitting J, change the motion type to revolute. I'm going to right click, select between two faces, selecting this face and this face, hovering over, holding control, selecting this projection, left click, moving to our base. Hovering over this face, holding control, selecting this joint origin. Hitting OK. Let's move this up. Next, let's link our plunger and our handle. Hitting J. And selecting capture position. Let's zoom in our plunger. Holding control and selecting this joint origin. Zooming in on our link, holding control, and let's select this middle joint origin. Motion type to be cylindrical. Hitting OK. Zooming out. Next, hitting J once more, selecting capture position, and this time motion type to be revolute. Hovering over this face, holding control, selecting this joint origin, left click. Hovering over this face or this face, holding control, selecting this joint origin. Hitting OK. Going to Home View. Inspecting. And for us to have another instance of our link, we may simply select Link. Hit Control C 
and control V selecting capture position let's move this one here hitting OK applying the same steps hitting J take note we are on revolute motion selecting holding control selecting this joint origin same here holding control selecting this joint origin hitting OK let's move this hitting J selecting capture position changing this to cylindrical for component one let's select this joint origin same with our plunger holding control selecting this joint origin finally hitting OK inspecting let's head to front view and let's add a joint limit so my intent here is to be limited to this position so this joint is our Revolute 4 joint so I'm going to right click select edit joint limits let's inspect this one for the minimum I'm gonna key in negative 5 for the maximum I'm gonna key in 90 let's animate to check so animation looking nice and hitting OK and to check let's head back to our Revolute 4 right click select animate model nice great job on completing our December monthly challenge our December Fusion 360 monthly challenge is brought to you by MSI workstations render and simulate seamlessly in Fusion 360 using the power of an MSI workstation Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all see you on our final monthly challenge this January